Hello friends, myself Pratik. In this session, we are going to discuss how we can use ChatGPT for effective teaching. Let us start this session. ChatGPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, which is specially designed to generate high-quality human-like responses to user queries across wide range of topics and context. ChatGPT was launched last year in November by OpenAI and just within five days of its launch, it registered a million user count. It's very remarkable for ChatGPT because Instagram took 2.5 months to reach 1 million users, Spotify took 5 months, Facebook took 10 months and Netflix took 3.5 years to achieve 1 million user count while ChatGPT achieved this just within five days of its launch. This gives us the clear idea about popularity of the chat GPT. In academic domain, we have a lot of debates and discussions over the use of chat GPT by students to solve the assignments and essays. Since students are already making use of chat GPT, so I thought as a teacher, how we can use this tool for our effective teaching practice. So the question is how as a teacher, we can use the capability of chat GPT to transform the way we deliver the instructions and access our student progress. We can use chat GPT as our assistant who can frame various type of questions very quickly to access student progress. In order to use chat GPT, you can simply Google this term. The first link is about openai.com, which talk about this chat GPT and here there is a link for try so by simply using this link you can try chat gpt after creating an account on chat gpt you can start using it chat, i have used chat gpt to generate multiple choice questions filling the blanks matching type questions even programming assignments with the use of chat gpt and it works perfectly well so I'm going to demonstrate that how as a teacher, you can make use of chat GPT for your effective teaching and evaluation of students. I have asked chat GPT to create MCQ questions with answers on the introduction of machine learning. Let us submit this to chat GPT. So chat GPT is processing this request. It has started generating multiple choice question. So first is what is machine learning? It has given various definition and then provide the answer. What is the goal of supervised learning to predict the outcome of new data action? So I can see that most of these questions are very relevant. Submit, you can submit any article to chat GPT that and it can generate the question based on that article or block. Even you can paste the text from the book and it will generate the questions from that text. So let's do this. So here I have an article on machine learning, so on. So I have copied the whole article and I can ask chat GPT to create the questions based on this article. So let's do this. Create five MCQ questions with their answers based on this article. You just need to paste the article here. So I have submitted the whole text. Let's submit this. So now these questions are generated based on the text present in the article. What is the goal of unsupervised machine learning to make predictions based on past data perfectly fine. So you can see that all the questions are generated perfectly well with the keys and you can use these questions to evaluate the students. So now I am asking chat GPT to generate filling the blanks questions based on this article. Even you can paste the link of the article here. You can see that these are the filling the blanks questions which are generated by chat GPT and they are perfectly fine. Even you can ask chat GPT to generate matchmaking questions based on this article. Let's submit this. So this is the answer. Match the following type of algorithm with their use cases. Perfectly fine. Even, even you can generate a case study based questions by using chat GPT. Here I am asking ChatGPT to generate a case study based question 
by generating the data set to apply multiple linear regression. So let's submit this question. So here you can see that it is generating the question to predict the price of the houses. Now I am asking ChatGPT to generate the data set for this question. So you can see that it is now generating the data set and this is perfectly fine. You can see how wonderful it is taking all these input attributes. This is output attribute and automatically generating the labeled data. Now I am asking ChatGPT to generate a case study based question by generating the data set to apply classification. So you can see that this is now generating the data set on its own perfectly fine. Now I have asked ChatGPT to generate a case study based question on ER model. ER model is a, one of the concept in database management system. So here it has automatically generated the case study for hospital management system. This is the problem statement. These are the evaluation criteria. So this is perfectly fine. So even you can ask ChatGPT to provide the solution for this question. ChatGPT has provided a detailed step-by-step -step process to solve this problem. Now I am asking ChatGPT to generate 5 SQL based questions with their solutions for the following data set. And here I have provided 2 tables. Let's submit this to ChatGPT. So wonderful, you can see this is the query to retrieve all the employees in EMP table. Chat even you can further ask ChatGPT to generate five queries on group by clause for this data set. So let's submit this. So here these are the five sample queries for group by clause on this data set. From this you can see that you can easily use ChatGPT to generate a lot of queries with their solution and you can directly ask these queries to the students in their exams or even for their labs. Now I am asking ChatGPT to generate a case study based question on the concept of classes and objects in C++. So let's submit this query. So here you can see that it is generating a case study for bank management system. So here it has asked to create a class with bank with all these details. Then a class for customer, a class for accounts. So function to deposit money, function to withdraw money. Oh, this is generating evaluation criteria. So this is perfectly fine. So now this is generating a C++ code to implement book store management system. You can use this chat GPT to generate questions not only on computer science. You can use this for science, mathematics, arts, English and so on. So here I am asking. ChatGPT to generate an application based question on Newton third law. Let's submit this. So now I am asking ChatGPT to generate application based question on Newton third law for grade 5. So generate a mathematical questions on probability concept for grade 11. So this is a generating a question on probability and this is perfectly fine. So now I'm asking what is the solution for this question? So this can generate solution also and you can check its validity. Generate a comprehension based on the story for grade 5. So now this is generating a story. So you can see the power of chat GPT. A model is generating a story on its own. Then based on this, it is asking the questions. So a teacher can directly use this after reviewing that particular story and questions. So from these demonstration, you can see that chat GPT has a huge potential to create multiple choice question, filling the blanks questions. Even it can generate the questions based on data set. It can populate the data set for framing those questions. We have seen that it can be used to generate physics, mathematics or English questions. I hope that through this you got a fair idea that ChatGPT has a huge capability to transform the way we deliver instruction and access the student progress.
so let us start using chat gpt as our assistant for improving our performance and efficiency this is all about this session i request you to subscribe to this youtube channel to receive various video tutorials on topic like machine learning data mining dbms big data no sql and many more i have authored books on data mining and data warehousing simplified approach to dbms no sql in a day beginning with sql and pl sql for beginners all these books are available at amazon platform to read more on this you can refer my website pratikbatia.com i have created few online courses which are available at udemy platforms thanks for watching this video Thank you.